Reading the comments on uh, last week's expository study, I found this one to be very interesting. Thank you for posting it. Uh, about the President Obama appoints Jesuit father Thomas Reese to commission on internal international religious freedom. <laughs> okay, uh, let's let's look at this article here. I'll put it up on screen. It says. Um, President Barack Obama has named Jesuit Father Thomas J. Reese as the newest member of the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom, which serves as an advisory panel to the federal government on protecting religious freedom abroad. Father Reese joins three fellow Catholics on the commission, Chairman Robert P. George, a bioethicist and Princeton University professor, James Zogby, the for founder and president of the Arab American Institute, and Mary Ann Glendon, a Harvard University law professor and former U.S. ambassador to the Vatican. Former commission members include Archbishop Charles J. Chaput, Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, Bishop William Murphy, and Most Reverend Ricardo Ramirez. Religious freedom is a fundamental human right of every person on earth. Father Reese wrote in his latest column, Faith and Justice for the National Catholic Reporter. It is easy to forget about religious freedom when policymakers are so focus, focused on national security, economic issues, and other human rights that religious freedoms, freedom is forgotten. He wrote, Father Reese, who will serve a two-year term on the commission, is currently a senior analyst for the National Catholic Reporter. Previously, he served as a senior fellow at the Woodstock Theological Center at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., which is a Jesuit school. From 2006 to 2013 and from 1988 to 1998, after first joining the center as a visiting fellow in 1985, he was editor-in-chief of America Magazine from 1998 to 2005 and as an associate editor from 1978 to 1985. Father Reese entered the Society of Jesus in 1962 and was ordained in 1974. He received a bachelor's degree and a master's degree from St. Louis University a Master of Divinity degree from the Jesuit School of Theology at Berkeley, and a Ph.D. in Political Science from the University of California, Berkeley. I am grateful that these talented and dedicated individuals have agreed to take on these important roles and devote their talents to serving the American people. I look forward to working with them in the coming months and years, Obama said in a statement. Okay? How pathetic and ridiculous. I mean... What was the purpose of the Jesuit order being founded back in the mid-1500s? Ignatius Loyola, Ignatius de Loyola, excuse me, um, he came to the Pope and basically said, we need to stop this Protestant Reformation. We need to bring everybody back under the control of the Roman Catholic Church. And so that was the purpose of the Jesuit order, the Society of Jesus, as it's called. That's the whole purpose. To destroy other religions and bring them all back under the Vatican. You say, well, Brian, they're not into, he's saying about religious freedom. How does that destroy other, other religions and things like that? Religious freedom works this way. You agree with Catholicism. Don't speak against Catholicism. And if you do, well, then you're not respecting other people's religious freedom. So therefore, we'll have to shut you down. You know, And when they get enough power, they'll start executing people again. You better believe it. People like me, you know. That's what will happen in the future. Let me read about in the book of Revelation. People are being beheaded for the witness, you know, the testimony of Jesus and for the word of God. Revelation chapter 6. You know, we're going right back to it. The Catholic Church is taking over. You know, and it just, it just that, that's a very funny article. Thank you for posting it, you know, in, in the comments section. I, I always appreciate that. You know, I like to see the comments and a lot of times I learn things, and I definitely learned something here, you know, just like, <laughs> you know, religious freedom. Let's, let's, who could stand for religious freedom? I know, a Jesuit father. Yeah. Man, oh man. Incredible news.